Hello there. Okay, so you've just seen me glue the hinges in place. Um, I don't pretend to be fantastic at this. I don't. I want to be as honest and open with you guys as possible. I'm no master. I just try my best in everything I do, and you know, some things work and some things don't. So I've used these bigger hinges, um, and I wanted the three uh, to give it more stability. So I glued them in place with the super glue and then left it to dry and it was all great and then um, a couple of my hinges popped off this one and this one can't do it with this. okay so they popped off and I thought um, before I started um, doing resin I looked at lots of other resin artists and things like that and they always seem to glue the hinges um, and I thought there has to be a better way of doing this other people either don't say or perhaps it's just me um, but I've done it with UV resin I've done it with glue and quite often sometimes they stick and sometimes they just pop right off and I cannot get that consistent um, finish so what I thought I would have a go at is using the hinges properly um, like you would if you did wood or whatever and actually glue it's a bit, a bit of a thing, but, um, I would actually use the screws with the hinges that came with the hinges that were intended um, and so I've done it on this side and it is a lot sturdier so what I did was I've used my little mini drill hand drill and I have drilled, put the hinges in place, left them where they were and drilled down about approximately, now the only thing is you obviously do risk coming through the other end but if that happens I will just pop a little blob of um, UV resin on the other side just to make sure there's no sharp edges. Um, so. I am literally now going to show you, it, it's very simple, um, so it's literally just hand drill through, check how deep you're going with the drill bit, so a little bit further, and then I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the top and then screw down. Um, this may be useful, I just thought I'd share it with you as this might be useful for other people who are struggling to keep the hinges on um, and also, see once I've had that hinge pop off, I'm quite paranoid that it's going to pop off while I'm using the product whatever that I have made um, and certainly as I sell items, I would never sell something that I thought in the future the hinge might pop off. So yeah, I'm going to give a go this way, see if it's more stable and uh, yeah, and they last last longer. So let's give it a go and see how neat and tidy we can make Okay, so now for the third and final uh, board. I've got these that will go here. Oops, sorry, my way. Okay, so we've got to use these. And I've got 
two of those sheets. Okay, so I've got these, um, and I got thinking, I've used the black glitter, I've used the powders, I'm going to do something totally different with this one. Um, I'm going to use as many beautiful sparkly glitters as I can find to go with this. We are going to go out all out glittery madness because why not? For the resin I was going to use the 3 to 1 ratio resin that came in the kit. However, looking in the booklet it says that for this mould you need 120 grams per side. So um, it says mix 120 grams of resin for one side of this mould, make two pieces. Okay, but I only have 200 grams, I would need 240. So I'm like, oh, I don't have enough of this one um, to finish one project, and I don't want to use half one type of resin for half and the other type of resin put them together because then the colours would be slightly off if they were slightly tinted and um, so I'm going to save this for a different project and we'll see how I go because I haven't used this resin before so I'll save that for another project. So what I am actually going to use is my um, Epoxyplast 3D which is a thicker resin and so it should hold the glitters and stop them sinking a lot better uh, and also if you when you've mixed the resin, if you let it thicken a little bit and don't pour it straight away, it'll be even thicker and should hold the resin, the glitters in suspension a lot better. And we should get a better finish than the glitters all just sinking down. Because I want this to be absolutely fabulous on all sides, glitter-wise. Then we're going to cut these. It says to cut these and put them, so I'm going to cut them down flip them side to side um, so that we've got because they don't quite fit one way anyway um, you need a bit more space in the middle so yeah we'll cut those we'll stick those in and we'll see how we go and then for the hinges I'm probably going to use my hinges um, these ones I'm going to use the uh, you'll have seen in the last box I did, I used the little screws. So it took it took a long time to do, do all the little pilot holes for, but they're actually so much sturdier than the um, hinges without the screws. So I'm definitely gonna use these because I want it to be durable because my little girl loves these game board boxes. And um, yeah, so we definitely want it to be more durable for the little ones. And we'll see how we go. So keep watching. Let's see how we do.